Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Inside Wire. Based on a previous video I did for the Guest Captive portal, I've received a few requests asking me how to set up the payment system within the portal itself. In this video, we will cover the setup of the portal and how to configure the portal to accept payments through PayPal. We'll also test this out by joining the network and carrying out a transaction. Before we get started, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for when I upload more great content. The links for everything used in this video are in the description below, so feel free to check them out. If there is something you would like me to look at specifically, please drop me a comment in the section below and I'll see what I can do. So let's do this. So we log into our UDM Pro and we start by going to the settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a network. So we'll add in a home network. Um, we will call this test payments network one. Um, you can see on here, there's some additional settings that seem to be coming soon. VPN settings, if you want to set up VPN for that specific network, content filtering and advanced. So what we're going to do is give this a VLAN ID of uh, what should we give it? Um, let's give it a VLAN ID of 888. And then if you have a domain name, you can add that in. If you want to do device isolation, IGMP snooping, auto scale the network. So you can turn that off if you want, if you want full control over it, which I probably do. So 192.168.50.1. Uh, and then we'll have a DHCP range of 50.6 to 50.254. Um, we probably do want device isolation on a guest network, but I'm going to leave it off for now anyway. We'll apply those changes. And you can see test payments has appeared down here um, on the networks. So once we've done that, we want to add a guest hotspot. Just going to close these a second. So we want to enable. We're going to call this um, my guest payment network. Uh, my guest payment Wi-Fi uh, authentication type. So you, there's a, a bunch of different ones here. So you can use Facebook Wi-Fi, external portal server, Facebook. Um, just to authenticate, password, vouchers, WeChat, payment, radius. So what I'm actually going to do is payments for now. So we're going to select that one. Uh, we'll have a look at the, we'll come back to the payment section in a minute. Let's just look at the rest of these. So we look at the portal design. On here, as always, you're not able to, unless you're directly logged into the UDM Pro itself via IP address, not remote access. So you can change any of the colors and how it looks if you want. We don't want to do that at the moment. Um, terms of use, we're just going to say inside wire, blah, 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 blah. Um, welcome to this demo Wi-Fi system. Uh, demo payment Wi-Fi system network. Uh, we'll position the text under the logo and any additional advanced features. So. We can have a look here what bands you want to send it out at, which APs you want to send it out across, so you don't have to send it out across all of them. Session expiration, so we'll set that, leave that at 24 hours. If we want a promotional URL, if you want to send it to your website, I'm just sending it to my YouTube channel at the moment. Um, if you want to make it secure, use HTTPS redirection redirect using a host name and just encrypt the redirected URL and any default templates you want to override. So if we click apply there for now. So you can see if I just go up here, there's my guest payment Wi-Fi and it's an open network which requires a PayPal authentication. So that was the, that was the easy part. So if we go back into the Wi-Fi itself and we open up payments, so expanding payments, you can see there's a couple of options. You can add payment packages, payment gateway, free trial. So the first thing I'll look at is a free trial. So you have uh, the option to give a user a free trial. So if you want to give them a 60 minute free trial, for example, 
and the trial lockout is for a 24 or 72 hour period and then they can rejoin as another 60 minute free um, uh, trial. You can, within this, you can override the limit so you can give it a more limited network speed if you want and data collection. If you want to collect data from the user, you can say tick all of these boxes if you want them to fill that in. Uh, having a quick look at the payment gateway. So there are a number of options on here. You can use, uh, for example, Stripe, Quick Pay, uh, Authorize.net, Merchant Warrior, I IP Pay, and PayPal, depending on where you are throughout the world. So I'm going to be using PayPal for my demo, um, and I'm actually going to show you how to. I'm actually going to show you how to uh, set that up. It's not something I was planning to do, but I think um, there's a f there's one gotcha in there that got me. So I think I want to highlight that one out. So I'm going to bring this across. Um, what is this? Is a PayPal sandbox account. Um, so I'm just going to click on here, create account. Um, you want it to be a business one um, and you want this to be United Kingdom so wherever you are in the world so click create that then creates uh, your network that then creates your uh, sandbox account so what we actually go into here is view and edit details so on here you can see it generates your user ID password um, one thing you need to do to accept payments is you need to upgrade to Pro. So that's one thing that I spent a little while troubleshooting. Um, so you just make sure that's upgraded to Pro and that will be enabled. And the information you will need is on API credentials. I'm just going to take this back across to my other screen so we can start filling in these details. So it's the username, so we'll copy and paste that, uh, password copy and paste that and the signature itself so all this information is going to be required um, for you to accept payments um, so once you filled in the payment gateway information you then want to add some packages so one I'll call the first one one hour demo uh, one hour uh, limited Wi-Fi uh, one hour limited uh, you can choose whatever currency you want uh, we'll go pounds and this is going to cost you uh, this is going to cost you one pound and the duration is 60 uh, one hour sorry download limit so we're going to give them um, a uh, thousand kilobits per second and then again a thousand upload and we're going to give them a quota buy of a uh, thousand megabytes company name what company name you want want to appear on the on the credit card bill and any payment fields you want to make sure that you want to take it's entirely up to you so that one is one so that's been applied so let's go back so we'll just add in one more payment option which is one hour uh, premium uh, again we'll do that in pounds and we'll charge two pounds for this one uh, duration again, 60 minutes, uh, sorry, duration is one hour. And for this one, we will give a, we will give a uh, 10,000 kilobits per second. And again, don't know why that came up, but yeah, again, we'll go with the same upload. Um, and same here. So same again down here inside wire and then we click apply. So now you can see that we have that fully set up. We have our payment options uh, one pound and two pound. We have we don't have a we're going to remove the free trial for the time being. We don't need that. Um, if we go back so we have our payment gateway information in there, so that's all filled in. We have the free trial. Auto design is on here, so if you want to have a look at that, but we'll keep that as standard. We don't really need to have a look at that. 
I have another video on the portal design if you wanna go and check that out. So just before I try and join this network, I just wanna show one more thing on the, on the PayPal sandbox area. There is actually a, a credit card generator as well. So you can click down here where it says credit card generator and uh, grab yourself a card and your country that you're in. Um, just so when I'm about to do this next step, um, you can see that I'm just using a demo credit card. So we have that credit card number and now I am, now I'm gonna try and join the guest Wi-Fi network. So we just try and join that from here. And you can see we have successfully joined. Um, if I try and browse, normally it does bring up a page, but at this point, because I've already connected, it's, it's prompting me to just browse the web. So I'm gonna choose accept the terms. You can see what you've ha you have written here. Um, welcome to the demo Wi-Fi network. And we wanna pay by credit card. So if I copy the credit card number, and paste that in. The expiry date is 06-2022 and the security code. This is a dummy credit card so <laughs> I wouldn't really worry about any details going anywhere. Um, so we just click connect. And there you go. Um, I have been connected And there you go, I've been connected to my YouTube page um, and that's my redirected page. So that is doing what we want it to do and if I uh, just type in Google News for example, um, we can see we have internet access. I really hope you found this video useful and informative. It's fairly straightforward to set up the payments and it's flexibility to set up many plans as you need. It's good PayPal have the option to create a sandbox environment to test it out and make sure it works how you would expect it to. I'm sure some of the other merchants also have this option, but PayPal was the one that I... I will do some more videos on the guest captive portal itself with some more authentication methods such as Facebook and the radius option. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I get them uploaded. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.